I thought I'd like to do something that had a quite a bit of contact in it because uh, you know most most of your clubs around they don't they don't do sparring and there's there's there's, there's like a lack of contact. I found form of power to boxing gym and uh, I thought yeah let's let's do it screw it let's do boxing. There you go, there you go, man. Nice and calm, you see? There it was. Good. There, there, good. That was good. Um, growing up in my house, you know, growing up as with my family is very, very good. You know, very pleasant. I had a, a really good upbringing for my parents. You know, never had any problems. It was always, you know. It's very good. My parents did every. They pretty much. They pretty much do everything they can to help me. You know, they very understanding, very caring, and they've done a lot for me. You know, I, I'm. I'd like to do more for them. Well, I'm Spanish, so we do quite a lot of traveling to Spain. We go to Spain a lot to visit the family. Um, to do skiing, I do that with my English side of the family, and we go to France. We usually go to the Alps. We've been to Austria again, the Alps. My dad supports me doing boxing. He enjoys watching me boxing. He enjoys watching. Uh, my progression and all that he he pays for it you know he pays for the classes and stuff and he he was the one you know I, when I asked he said yes straight away he he loves the idea of boxing Barry McGuigan is one of my favorite boxers in history because my dad um, when I started doing boxing my dad actually pointed me towards him so you know he told me to watch a few videos and on how he boxed and all that you know the head movement is amazing his fight against Pedroza he was absolutely awesome to watch you know he was a, he was a very very good boxer my mum, on the other hand, she's not as big a fan. You know, as soon as I told her I was going to start, she started telling me about all these stories about how people get killed, getting hit in the head. My mum supports me, of course. They both support me equally. But I think my dad's more keen on me doing boxing, whereas my mum's less keen. You know, obviously boxing has its risks. I started boxing when I was 16, and I'm 20 now. I did boxing about two years, and then I broke my arm, so I had to leave it for a year or so. It, it kind of uh, slowed me down. Yeah, it, it having a broken arm, you know, I broke my nose as well, and it, it, took, a, it took a long time, especially for my arm, to get back into to shape. I think my toughest fight was a sparring session. Really good, you know. He'd make you pay, like, you know, with, with his left hand, as it hit me in the head. I remember it really well, because I remember it was the first time I didn't have to wear a headgear. The thing I enjoy most about boxing is the discipline. It really uh, motivates me and it, and it makes me more driven as a person in general. You, f you feel healthy and I think that's, that's really good. Uh, on, on another note, you know, the, one of the things I really like about boxing is the competitivity. And it's the, it's the standard of competitivity is, is brilliant. Everyone in the gym wants to be the best. Everyone wants to get really good. And it, it's really good fun as well.